Welcome to another episode of Ruggers. Um, like we said last week, we are going to do programs where we discuss position-specific requirements that the scouts and the unions have when scouting players to contract uh, for under 19 and under 18, 19 and 20 level. However, um, during the past weekend, there was a lot of Tom Dicks, no, they were all Dicks, um, that once again started to complain about the amount of pressure that's been put at the top performing schools on the children and that they will lose their love of rugby and, 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 and it. I, I can't understand South African schoolboy rugby must be the best performing sector of rugby in the world. We've got brilliant coaches everywhere from your level four or five schools up to your top level schools. They are brilliant coaches. The talent is so much. We always complain. And that's one of my biggest complaints is that the, the unions doesn't give, yeah, they don't treat the kids properly because they know if they push this guy to fail and he fails, there's just another kid as talented that will step up and uh, take his place. So yeah, so, the first question is said, the guys will lose their love for rugby. I spoke to two or three kids and they said, no, that's completely wrong. Although I have to work hard and although the pressure is there, I love rugby. And if I've got the opportunity to do what I love, why wouldn't I put myself under the pressure of working hard three times harder than the guy that's, that's two steps or a, a playing a, a tier lower than me. Why wouldn't I do it? Because I simply love what I do. Um, we will always, always, I, I mean, all of us had kids from grade one till grade 12 that you were unhappy, the coaches doesn't pick your kid. And, and, and so everywhere is unhappiness. But why must we, it's cheapest, why must we attack the performance in our community? It's not only confined to rugby, but everywhere. But let's get back to the answer or, or the questions that was, uh, that was raised and the, the statements that was made. Um, is there too much pressure on the kids? I don't think there's too much pressure on the kids. I think if you play in a tier one rugby school, that pressure is preparing you for the pressure you will be under when going into the professional era. We always are, there's a lot of questions asked. We've got such a lot of talent at schoolboy level. Where have they gone? They simply can't take the heat in the kitchen. That's 99% of the reason why kids stop playing rugby, because they can't take the heat when they have to perform where it really matters, and that's at the professional era. So <clears throat> that's the one question. So yes, there is a lot of pressure. If you don't want to put your kid under that pressure, put him in a tier two, tier three, tier four school where he can play rugby for the love of the game. It doesn't take away that he's not, uh, it doesn't have to say that he's not talented. But remember, the pressure, every tier you goes up, I think doubles even more. Because every tier that your kid steps up, in the schoolboy level, there's more people as talented as he is, as willing to work hard as he is. So to say to play for your first 15 for Hatsaran school and to play for your first 15 for Paul Boys High, the pressure is the same? No, not really. The pressure is a hundred times more. So that's the decision you as parent must make. If your kid just wants to play rugby for the hell of it, if he is at office, I don't think in any case he'll get further than the C, the D, other D or the E team. Let him play there, let him enjoy it. Don't hit the boy that wants to work hard. Don't hit the boy that's in the gym three hours a, a day. Why do you hate that guy? He's willing to take that pressure. I don't understand. And I'm not, like I said before, there is as talented kids in your tier three, four schools and as talented coaches in your tier three and tier four schools. It's true, that's there. But unfortunately, if you do think your kid is going to be a Springbok, he needs to be in a tier one school. Simple, done. 
I, I can't see anybody that care about kids that will differ from me on that thing. Because I spoke to four scouts or four representatives of unions and all of them said, firstly, I'm looking at the school the kid was. That will indicate to me, can he handle the pressure? That was the first, first thing. We were discussing at Volder Klava and those scouts, I mean, they were brutal. If the hooker can't find his, 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 his jumpers in the scrum, ach, in the line out, it was simply said he can't take the pressure because that's a sure sign of a hooker that cannot take the pressure as he misses the line out jumpers. There's a lot of other reasons. The guy doesn't jack the line out jumper the same uh, quickly enough, and, 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 but that's the general attitude of the, the scouts. They don't look at what, they look at what's, what your boy do, what's good. They rather see what's not good. So the fly half that kicks, that fails to kick a sitter in a match winning kick, he can't take the pressure. So to all those guys that say pressure is too much, it's your decision what pressure at schoolboy rugby your kid is going to endure. You will know if he can take the pressure at the top tier. And there's no shame in trying it out. There's no shame. I put my boys at office because I believe they must prove themselves in a top school. If I sent them to a school in the north where we used to stay, they would have been superheroes. I mean, every, for the next hundred years, they would have been talked about. Now nobody talks about them because they went to office and they didn't make it. As simple as that. So, is there a lot of pressure? Definitely there's a lot of pressure. Is the pressure more than what they will experience at, at, at uh, uh, national le uh, at, at uh, professional level, definitely not. The pressure is even more then. Does the pressure at the tier one schools prepare your kid for that? Definitely it does. So I hope that that solves the argument. The guy that says pressure is too much, um, yeah, I think he's jealous of the the the. the, the the achievements of those boys, boys playing at the top. Or he's jealous because his, his kid can't make it at the top. There's a lot of boys that couldn't make the pressure. There's no shame in it. That's how you're born. To take pressure or not to take pressure. But if you're willing to learn how to take the pressure, you'll get better at that also. So please don't see this program then as hitting the tier four schools saying that if you've got a talented kid, put him in a tier one school. We're not doing that. The coaching there is brilliant. I know Loffy, that was one of the guys that said, too much pressure, he's coaching at Kiro Longabon. He's doing a brilliant job. The kids are enjoying it. There's not too much pressure, Loffy. Your kid must decide, the kid and yourself must decide what amount of pressure am I willing to take. I hope that solves the argument. That's in any case how I saw it. That's in any case how the scouts saw it. Doesn't matter what I think. It matters what the scouts think. And like I said, they are saying, all four of them said, they differed here and there, but all four of them said, I'd rather scout a guy from a tier one school. And they even went further, a top 10 school, because I know that kid knows to handle pressure because he plays weekend after weekend after weekend against top opponents in the country. You must make the decision. But please stop hitting, stop yeah, hating our performance at school, uh, performers at schoolboy rugby. These boys really work hard to get there. Rather enjoy their achievements than hating them for that. Thanks.